Welcome, and here we go again. Now today, we are back for another video. I'm Lewis Moon, and it's time to break down another Series 12 trailer. Yes, uh, we got home on Monday, miserable Monday, at, to see a new Doctor Who trailer awaiting us when we got home, which was really nice to see. I, I really like that. They dropped a trailer, they said uh, on the social medias, you asked for a trailer, so we're giving you two. So it's really nice to get two trailers. I think this is the last trailer. I only expected to get one, really. This one is nice, because we got, it was only like nine days since the last trailer was released. So that's really nice, really quick. We won't get another trailer, at least for the whole series. We might get an episode one trailer if we're lucky, but I doubt it, because they didn't do that last year. So, yeah, it doesn't give us too much new footage, but it does give us a release date. And there are a few little bits of new footage in there. Not really much new analysis or anything. We see a few new shots of the series, um, a couple of new monster shots, a couple of new bits of dialogue, a couple of new potential hints towards where the series could be headed. But the main thing we got out of here uh, is the release date and we'll be crunching down all the information we got from the trailer and the surrounding press release today. So, um, let's begin, shall we? So the big thing we got from the trailer and the whole purpose of the trailer was to tell us that the first episode will begin on New Year's Day, on January the 1st. That's only 30 days away, so it's less than a month to go until we get Doc 2 back on our screens and we can have new content to discuss, more regular videos. And after this long, painful gap year, it's good to know that something's coming very soon. Um, so, New Year's Day, I like that release date. We suspected it would be that, and it became increasingly unlikely. SFX magazine said it would be out in early January. Radio Times put their Christmas issue out, and or their pre-Christmas Doctor Who issue, which sort of indicated it would be on New Year's Day, and Doctor Who was on the festive highlights alongside other shows, like Dracula, uh, which, was, which is going to be on New Year's Day. So, it's very exciting, it's a very good release date. However, the one thing we didn't think was going to happen... We thought that Doctor Who was going to come back to Saturdays this year. It's been confirmed that Doctor Who will be back on on a Sunday again, uh, like last year. So the second episode of the show will be airing on January the 5th. So we'll be getting one episode each subsequent Sunday. So that means... I, I, I was hoping it would be on a Saturday, because then I'd get an episode on my birthday, and that would be very nice, but nah, sadly not. But uh, Sundays is fine, I like Sundays, and I think it works well for the show. So, the other thing we found out is that the series will launch with a two-part episode, which will be titled Spyfall. As we suspected, as, and as was shown from the trailer, episode one and two are going to be an explosive, two-part, action-packed, spy, James Bond-type thriller. And it will be written by Chris Chibnall, at least part one will be. We didn't know the title till now, we thought it would be something like Fall, Fall of the Regime. But, we know the title now. It's very ex not exciting, because it's a terrible title. Uh, but, uh, we know it's going to be very James Bond influenced. And we believe, for the first time since... 2010's The End of Time Part 1 and Part 2, the episodes will be called Spyfall Part 1 and Spyfall Part 2, rather than with usual stories where they give them separate titles, like Under the Lake Before the Flood, or World Enough and Time and the Doctor Falls, for example. So it's going back to the classic Who roots. And uh, as far as we're aware, that's what it seems to indicate. Uh, it's very exciting that we've got some more details. Not a very exciting title, though. It sort of fits with the titles that Series 11 had. I actually congratulate Chris Chibnall for creating a title that bad. Because it is very bad. Um, you know, something like... Uh, if you had to do uh, a James Bond title, do something like... Uh, 
uh, what is it, um, Universe is Not Enough or something like that. That that would be better. Why don't you do that? Anyway, that's all the details we have for episode one. I'm sure soon we'll get a synopsis, as they usually release those in the weeks beforehand, possibly for both episodes one and two. We may get an episode one trailer, we'll get promotional pictures, we'll get all that sort of thing. Probably we'll get all of that sort of thing just before Christmas, I'm expecting, because it usually happens a week before, and I doubt they'll actually do something on Christmas Day. I mean, they announced the Daleks were coming back last year on Christmas Day, but I doubt we'll get anything big announced on Christmas Day. But yes, only 30 days when we're recording this left until the series starts. So obviously, as the countdown continues, there'll probably be some more news and details released about probably the later episodes, which we don't know much about. So we'll give you all the deets for that as they come out. On to the trailer. There's only a few things that we found out here, but there's a few nice bits of footage. It's sort of like, as as I expected, I, I didn't know whether there'd be a second trailer, but I knew that if there was a second trailer, it'd be... about half of it would be the footage from the previous trailer just repeated again, and half of it would be new footage, which didn't reveal much new, because there's, there's not really much that they need to reveal more. I don't think they needed to do a, a big trailer like this, but it's really nice that they did, and it's really nice to get a few new shots. So, the team seem to enter some sort of tomb at the beginning of the trailer, which is interesting. It's all narrated over by Jodie Whittaker, who's going, big crisis, massive crisis, serious crisis, big serious crisis, kisses. It's quite French, that, isn't it? Typical 13th Doctor line there, typical foppish 13th Doctor line. So then we see, while this narration's going on, we see the Doctor wandering around a burning area. I believe that's from episode 2. I believe uh, there's some sort of helicopter plane crash at the end of episode 1, which we sort of hinted at in the trailer. I think that'd be interesting in, at the end of Spyfall part 1. And then there's what looks like we may be being very... Uh, just presumptuous here, but we there's a lot of people which think that what we see next is another TARDIS console. It looks very TARDIS console-y, and judging by rumours, in one episode of the series, there will be another Time Lord, which will be the Jadoon episode. Apparently there'll be another Time Lord in that episode. But, take that with a huge grain of salt because that might not be true, and we might just be guessing, but there seemed to be something which made a TARDIS noise later on in the trailer, so that's rather interesting. It could be the Master's TARDIS, because we know the Master may be making an appearance here, potentially played by Sasha Dewan, if the rumours are true, but obviously that's all. that could all be garbage. So, the... Oh, God, imagine if they do... Um, a Bond song for Spyfall. That'd be quite bad. Anyway, um, the team are in tuxes next. It's sort of like a shot from their ankles to their heads, which is quite a nice camera shot. I think the cinematography in both trailers here look great. The cinematography in Series 11 was the only thing in Series 11 that was better than anything that came before it. And... This one seems to step it up a notch. It does look really nice as a series. The cinematography looks really gorgeous. Um, there's a lot of dialogue. The Doctor looks around a few times. So there's an interesting line of dialogue in which Graham says, Who are you, Doc? And uh, I hate that, but Graham calls her the Doc again. And she says, You don't know me. Um, so that's interesting. I think the trailers both tease that we could potentially get a different side to Jodie Whittaker's Doctor this year. I think last year all we saw was the goofy side of her character, which wasn't a very good goofy side of the character in my opinion. And I think personally you need to show a goofy side and a darker side and a funny side and a witty side and a clever side. You need to show it, show it all. And last year it was just goofiness. And I think... Hopefully they'll show us some different sides of the Doctor, because I 
don't think goofiness is where the strength in Jodie Whittaker's acting lies, to be honest. I think from her other roles, it lies in the more serious stuff. So hopefully she could get some more serious stuff, some more interesting dialogue, some more, some less foppish stuff to do. So we then see uh, Graham say, we'll be right here by your side, and the Doctor say, let's go. I really hope the dialogue isn't bad this year, because the writing was quite bad last year, as was the dialogue, quite cringy at times, quite embarrassing with fam and doc and all that, and I hope it improves. Judging by the trailer, the lines don't sound too interesting in terms of creativity, but, I mean, there's some interesting lines, but there's nothing like, brilliant in terms of, of dialogue. Um, so the Doctor's running towards an airplane with a Sonic, Sonicing it, as she always does, that seems to be the only thing she can do. Um, and that seems to be from episode one, because they're all wearing their tuxes. And then there's a lighthouse, the Doctor's looking out from a lighthouse. Um, Chibnall seems to uh, like lighthouses in his Hooniverse stuff. Um, and then I think it's Lenny Henry who says, Welcome to the end of your lives. So Lenny Henry, I think, is playing a villain in episode one, uh, Spyfall part one. So, yeah, it's a shame if they waste him. So hopefully you'll have a good role. Yaz and Ryan are looking shocked. They look next to each other. I, I, I apologise if this, this trailer breakdown's uninteresting and ambiguous because... I don't know much about this series, none of us do, and I'm just trying to give you everything I could notice from the trailer that I c can, but there's not too much different from the last trailer. Um, the Doctor says people can save ra uh, planets or wreck them, and then we get a close look at the Stithka, which is what the, the sort of scorpion type creatures which people mistake, uh, mistook sorry, for the Ratnos. And they say, I will take everything. Then there's another monster, which is like a blue creature hanging out of some sort of closet thing. It could be a sea devil, I guess. It looked like it was from the episode with the bats, and that's the environmental episode. So it could be our first look at the new sea devils. That would be cool. But it didn't look... If it is a sea devil, it looks crap. So let's hope it's not. Um, and then there's lots of quick action. There's a lot of quick action in these trailers, which is good. We like quick action in trailers. And then the final line of the trailer before it flashes to the release date is Jodie saying, fancy a trip in the box. We don't know who she's saying that. We don't know whether the person she's saying that to is going to say yes or no. Probably no, because they always do. But uh, maybe another companion. <laughs> we need that. Because uh, there's not enough companions already and we've developed them all fully. So, that's what I could guess from the trailer. It's it's a good trailer again. I think we get some exciting little glimpses at the series. As I say, I think it's the last trailer we'll get before the series begins. But let me know what you think of the trailer in the comments below. And let me know what you think of the title Spyfall and uh, the fact that the opener is a two-parter and the fact that it's beginning on New Year's Day. When it's New Year's Day... I will be here to give you a my review of the story. I don't know how long my live stream is going to be, but I am going to do a live stream each week after the series is aired, each, each Sunday after the episodes have aired, and giving my first verdicts. Usually my first verdicts are more positive than they are about a week later because I've only just watched it and I haven't had a chance to consolidate my views. But that's part of the fun, and I, I want you to find out how... I perceived the series first of all and maybe do a review later on in the week to give my verdict of how I think of the episode once I've uh, thought on it and possibly rewatched it if it's any good, this series. I rewatched every episode, well most of the episodes of series 11. I didn't watch Saranga, It Takes You Away or Ranskull because by that point I'd gotten fed up of them and they were all terrible. But I, if it's any good, if there's, it's complex enough or interesting enough, I will give it a rewatch uh, on a Tuesday or a Wednesday each week and give 
a rewatch review to consolidate my views on it. Anyway, I'll give you more details about that, the Who Corner Live, which is coming out on New Year's Day, we can now confirm. Um, so that's going to be exciting. It's going to be good to discuss some new content with you all. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I will see you next time, same time, same space. Goodbye.